Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Daydream. Let's talk about the Corsair H100i Pro RGB AIO cooler. This is not an installation video. I'm gonna show you a montage of the parts included and then walk you through some softwares used like Corsair Link and Corsair IQ interface for RGB devices. Alright, let's start with Corsair Link. Go to the website to download the software and you can type in your email to stay connected or skip and proceed to download and install. Now the Corsair Link software allows you to adjust RGB lighting, monitor CPU core, and coolant temperatures. Three cooling profiles are available to use depending on your current situation. For customizing RGB lighting, I suggest using IQ Interface. This software connects all your compatible Corsair devices in a single interface, such as fans, coolers, RAM sticks, keyboards, and mice. Corsair's IQ interface has a lot of fully customizable lighting presets to choose from. One preset caught my eye and that's a temperature mode. You can sync your pump unit to a heat sensor you want to monitor, like your processor, GPU, or motherboard. Plus, you can customize both the color and temperature values accordingly. Let's move on to performance. Four presets are available. We have Quiet, Balanced, Extreme, and Zero RPM. Let's go ahead and try them out and see average fan speeds. Now this also comes with a zero RPM fan mode. This cooling profile allows fans to stop entirely at low temperatures, but you can't turn the pump to zero RPMs. Now this is a very good option for you if you have an issue with fan noise, if you're recording some audio in a studio, that will be like the perfect time for you to use zero RPM mode. Now I'm gonna set my pump to balanced for now and my fans to extreme mode. I noticed the notification menu gives you options in what happens when the CPU, for example, uh, reaches a certain temperature, like sets fans to 100%, trigger all RGB LEDs to red, or shut down PC on a given duration. Another cool feature is the IQ space. This enables you to monitor temperatures without opening the IQ software. Just simply right click on your icon on the taskbar and you're all set. On default, you can only monitor the pump temperature. You can click the drop down list to add more, like the liquid cooler, processor, GPU, motherboard, and RAM to get more info on your current setup. 
Thanks for watching. Comment and leave a like if this video was helpful. I'll leave a link on the description below if you consider getting this RGB AIO cooler. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.